Hello YouTube, it's your girl Sharonda Patrice and I am back with another video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. On today's video, we'll be talking about my pregnancy. Uh, we're just going to talk about weeks 5 through 8 this time. Um, that was an interesting four weeks for me, uh, for sure. Um, I remember a lot of it. Right now, I am 33 weeks, so I remember that part of my pregnancy specifically because of a lot of things that I went through during them four weeks of um, pregnancy. So weeks five through eight, first of all, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of nausea and vomiting in weeks five through eight. Like it literally hit me. Um, I think I was week five, day one. Week five, day one. Yeah, week five, day one. Um, and I was at, I remember I was, it was my best friend was having uh, dress fittings for the bridesmaids. And I was so sick that day. It was the first day that I had ever felt like, quote unquote, bad. Um, as far as like nausea. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to keep it down because she did a brunch at IHOP. And I was, y'all... <laughs> I don't know how I held it together, but I was feeling so sick. But um, I had to hold it together because at the time, nobody knew. I did eventually tell her that day before before we left from the dress fitting. Before, so we did brunch, and then we did a dress fitting. And then after that, I told her because, of course, you know, we did a dress fitting. I'm pregnant. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit this dress. So I probably won't buy it right now. Yada, yada, yada. But, y'all, and I wish I would have recorded her. Now, that was a somebody I should have recorded. Like, Michael and her definitely were my top two people that were hilarious when I told them. But, yeah, she screamed so loud that the people in the parking lot thought something bad happened. And the mom got out and was like, oh, no, they're fine. It's just excitement. Like, it's just excitement. Like, that's how loud she screamed. But anyway, so, yeah. So, the first time that I ever really felt it was, like, week five, day one. And I was in the middle of a dress fitting when I started feeling bad. Um, and all through weeks five and eight, five through eight, I felt nausea. I was throwing up every other day, like every other day. And it wasn't like, um, like they say morning sickness. I was sick throughout the whole day, like nauseous, nauseous throughout the whole day. I could throw up at any time of the day. Like that's how bad it was. And I was like, how do pregnant women go through this and still work? Like I was so confused on how women go to this and still work. Like, I was contemplating on taking a leave of absence. That's how bad it was. Like, I was like, no way. There is no way that people go through this and still work. So, but anyway, the only thing that kept me from not taking a leave of absence was that I think it would have took a, taken away from my maternity leave um, in the end. So, I was like, no, just stick it out. You know, you'll be fine. <laughs> so... Um, that was something that I dealt with a lot. Um, super thirsty, um, was also one thing that I dealt with. Um, that was, that started in weeks zero through four though. I started being really thirsty while I just constantly wanted to drink something. So, um, I did good with my water intake when I was first pregnant, y'all. Um, I cannot say that I'm doing good now. I definitely have to make me make myself drink water um more than I did when I first started. Um but yeah, the thirst was real when I first started. Also very tired. Um I don't know if the tiredness is because of um all of the nausea and vomiting that I was going through that to the point that I just wanted to come home and go to sleep. Like I would literally like come home, eat maybe a little something, something, and then get in the bed and go to sleep. And I will sleep till the next day. So I was super tired through those weeks, five through eight. Um, also, I had 
rhinitis, which is like where your nose runs. So it was either my nose was running through my nose or it was draining to my throat. And so a lot of that, when it drained to my throat, was causing the um, nausea and the vomiting for me. Um, so that was something that I dealt with. Um, during this time of the weeks five through eight, I did see my regular doctor. Um, it wasn't like, it wasn't planned. It was just like, she wanted me to come in to make sure I was pregnant. And I was just like, why? Cause at the time I had called her, I had just called her to find out if it was safe to be taking the blood pressure medicine that I was on um, at the time and be pregnant. But she wanted me to come in so she could confirm that I was pregnant. And then she was gonna talk to me about the blood pressure medicine. So I went in, saw her, tested, of course positive for pregnancy. And then um, she changed me from, I was on amlodipine to begin with. And then she changed me to labetalol, which is supposed to be better for her um, when you're pregnant. Um, so that was the only doctor's appointment that I had between weeks five and eight. Um, also during weeks five through eight, I've, of course, because I was vomiting and um, nauseous and tired all the time, I barely felt, felt like eating. So I didn't really fit eating into my um, schedule that much. So I had a loss of appetite um, with that. Um, I, of course, there was no cravings or food aversions because I wasn't really eating anyway. So um, I didn't have any really cra any cravings or food aversions. Um, moodiness. I don't feel like I was moody. There was one person that told me that I was being moody during that time, but maybe they were just getting on my nerves. I don't know. I didn't feel like I was moody. Um, maybe, maybe I was just sick and I just didn't want to be bothered. I don't know, but I don't feel like I was moody. Um, also I had a lot of acne in weeks five through eight. And so it kind of reminded me of like when I'm on my period. So right before I start my period, I usually get, um, like acne on my nose or like here on my face and um and then that'll then I will eventually start my period so it kind of reminded me of that but it was just like it just never went away so I was dealing with a lot of acne around my face and I, my face was horrible looking if you ask me but um I dealt with a lot of acne during weeks five through eight and then the last thing was I had breast tenderness breast tenderness started weeks five through eight for me and y'all I'm at week 33 and it still has not gone away. Like, it still hurts. I don't know what in the world. All I know is this boy better latch and, and I better produce some milk as much pain as I've gone through with this breast tenderness. So, um, that was all that I had for weeks five through eight. Um, comment down below if you have dealt with those things or... Um, if you have any other things that you went through, maybe during that time that I didn't mention that I went through, I would love to know, um, anything that you have dealt with. Cause I know all pregnancies are different, but yes, comment down below, like, share, and I will see you guys on the next video.